Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I'm Dr. Abdul Adamu from Data Analytica. This lecture is just to show us briefly what we mean by rule of 72 in finance. The rule of 72 states that the number of years it will take an investment to double itself is equals to 72 divided by the rate of interest. So given any rate of interest, 72 divided by it will give us the number of rates it will take an investment uh, to double itself. Now this rule of 72 does not work with a simple interest because simple interest only earn interest on the principal or the amount invested. For instance, if you invest um, 1000 Naira at 10% simple interest. So this 1000 Naira for it to double itself then uh, the simple interest will be 1000 multiplied by 0 0.1 and we'll have 100 Naira. Now this 100 Naira, for it to grow up to 1000 Naira, that means you must earn it for uh, 10 times. That is 100 Naira times 10 will give us the 1,000, the 1,000. So that means in 10 years, in 10 years, 1,000 Naira plus the interest you earn, 1,000 Naira will now grow to be 2,000 Naira. So that means for simple interest, it will take 10 years for it to grow to 2,000 Naira. The amount to grow to be 2,000 Naira. Now, for um, compound interest, if you invest 1,000 Naira at 10%, 1,000 Naira at 10%, and you want to know the simplest way of how long it will take for it to grow to 2,000 Naira, that is the double of 1,000 Naira, you can easily use the rule of 72. That means 72 divided by 10. So don't forget the 10 you don't convert it to decimal and that gives you 7.2 years so it will take 7.2 years for 1000 naira to grow to be uh, 10000 naira now let's prove to see whether we we'll get close to 7.2 or 7.2 so if you remember our official value formula our official value formula is equal to the present value into 1 plus r raised to power n. The present value into 1 plus r raised to power n. So if you substitute, now uh, 1000 naira in future will grow to be 2000 naira. This is equals to the present, the amount now is 1000 into 1 plus the rate is 10 percent 0 0.1 raised to power n so if we divide both sides by 1000 to get rid of this 1000 divide here by 1000 divide here by 1000 so this will cancel this this will cancel this so it means 1.1 raised to power n will be equals to this two equals to two Now, if you to find the n, we take the log of both sides. Log 1.1 raised to power n is equal to log 2. Now, using the law of logarithm, this n will come to the back. n multiplied by log 1.1 will be equal to log 2. 
So n will be log 2 divided by log 1.1. So log 2, the value is 0 0.3010 divided by, let's check with our calculator. So with our calculator, log 2, that is the value 0 0.3010 log 1.1 log 1.1 log 1.1 is equals to 0 0.04139 0 0.04139 so if you divide this by this i think you have 7.3 7.3 yes so we can divide and see we can divide and see so we have uh, 0 0.301 divided by the answer we can see seven approximately 7.3 yes so you can see nobody will go through this long process then if you use the law, uh, uh, the rule of 72, you can see we got 7.2, we got 7.2, but if you use uh, the formula, you got 7.3. So you can see it gives us an approximate value for that. So the rule of, 7 point, the rule of 72, like we said, is n equals to 72 divided by r. So this can also be used to find the rate of interest if you know the number of years it will take an amount to double itself. So R, if you make R the subject of formula, this is 72 divided by N. So assuming we want to know at what rate it will take 1,000 Naira to be 2,000 Naira. In eight years in eight years so you can easily use the rule of 72 uh, that means R will be 72 divided by 8 so 72 divided by 8 will give us 9 percent so this will give us 9 percent so if you put the 9 percent in our official value formula and see let's see whether we we'll get close to the 2000 or the 2000 at worst so the future value formula is fb equals to uh, pb1 plus r raised to power n so this will be equals to 1000 our present value is 1000 1 plus 9 percent is 0 9 raised to power 8 so this will give us 1000 times 1.09 raised to power 8 will give us 1.992563 so if we multiply we we'll have 19925.63 this is approximately 20000 naira 20,000 Naira. So you can see the rule is working very well. So how do we use this rule, this rule in real life situation? In real life scenario, especially where the interest is working for you. Let's assume you are 29 years old and you want to retire when you are 65 years that means 65 minus 29 you still have 36 years in service let's assume you have saved 2 million naira you have saved 2 million naira and you can earn 2 percent if you save it in an account so how long will it take this to million naira to double itself that is to be four million naira so 
if we use the rule of 72 it will be 72 divided by 2 this will take you 36 years it will take 36 years that means by the time you are retiring your 2 million naira will grow to be 4 million naira to be 4 million naira now let's see the effect when we double interest rate let's see the effect when we double interest rate so assuming you are 29 like we said and you have 2 million naira so and now the interest is 4% so we have doubled from 2% to 4% so using the rule of 72 let's see how long it will take to double itself 72 divided by 4 so 72 divided by 4 I think will give us what 18 let's see 72 divided by 4 now it gives us 18 it means it will take 18 years for the money to double itself so that means that means uh, by the time uh, the money your 2 million your 2 million will double in 18 years in 18 years it will be 4 million then in another 18 years the 4 million will also double to be 8 million to be 8 million naira so you can see the 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 uh, by doubling the interest rate the amount of uh, money using the rule of level 4 quadruple now let's see if the interest rate is double of 4 let's say the interest rate you can earn 8 percent assuming the rate is 8 percent for 2 million now by the time you are retiring let's see how much the money will grow to and 8 percent is feasible on average s p 500 used to earn uh, 8 percent over a long period of time so if using the rule of 72 this is 72 divided by 8 72 divided by 8 gives us what? 72 divided by 8 will give us 9. So this gives us 9 in 9 years. So that means the 2 million naira will double in 9 years to 4 million. The 4 million. will double to 8 million this is 9 years 9 times 2 this is 18 years then the 8 million 2 million the 8 million will double in another 9 years 8 million that is to 16 million so that is 27 then the 60 million will double again to 32 million that is 36 by the time you are retiring you can see the effect of uh, uh, interest rate so this is how we can use the rule of 72 in uh, a uh, real life situation where interest can work for you in some cases interest can work against you so uh, this is the end of uh, the lecture if you have not if you enjoyed the lecture kindly subscribe to our youtube channel like and uh, you can comment to make suggestion on how we will improve our, uh, our our offering thank you very much